Your Excellency, Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovind, Honorable Chairperson of the National Human Rights Commission, Justice Arun Mishra, Secretary General of the Human Rights Commission, Sri Imbadar Pradam, esteemed members of the Commission, representatives of government, of civil society, of my international community, colleagues, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. As the newly accredited representative of the United Nations in India, on behalf of the United Nations Secretary General and the UN agencies which have the honor to serve India, it is my privilege, great pr privilege to be here today to join you in the observance of Human Rights Day. The 10th of December is commemorated across the world as the anniversary of the adoption of the United Nations General Assembly uh, of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, articulating arguably one of the greatest living legacies of our collective human history. And it goes without saying that India has long been one of the strongest champions both of the declaration itself and of the very concept of human rights and equality, the theme of this year's commemoration. This is reflected in many ways through the foundational traditions of this magnificent country and its people, through immortal leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, through the Constitution and the comprehensive rights-based legislative framework, and the strong and enduring democratic institutions as the world's largest democracy. Indeed, when the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was being drafted, it was India's own Hansa Mehta who proposed to change Article 1 from reading all men to all human beings are born free and equal. My dear colleagues, my dear colleagues, it is no coincidence that as we celebrate India's 75th independence anniversary, we note that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was born just one year after of the same source and of the same spirit. Now, as India's eminence grows globally, the world continues to look to its leadership in furthering the principles of the Universal Declaration. I am therefore very pleased to read to you this year's message of the United Nations Secretary General. And I quote, our world is at a crossroads. The COVID-19 pandemic the climate crisis and the expansion of digital technology into all areas of our lives have created new threats to human rights. Exclusion and discrimination are rampant. Public space is shrinking. Poverty and hunger are rising for the first time in decades. Millions of children are missing out on their right to education. Inequality is deepening. But we can choose a different path. 73 years ago today, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The principles set out in this simple declaration remain the key to realizing all human rights, civil, economic, cultural, social, and political, for all people everywhere. Recovery from the pandemic must be an opportunity to expand human rights and freedoms, to rebuild trust, trust in the justice and impartiality of laws and institutions, confidence that a life of dignity is within reach, faith that people can get a fair hearing and resolve their grievances peacefully. The United Nations stands for the rights of every member of our human family. Today and every day, we will continue to work for justice, equality, dignity, and human rights for all. Happy Human Rights Day, 
आप सभी को मानव अधिकार दिवस मुबारक हो बहुत धन्यवाद